you guys welcome back to my channel I feel like I haven't recorded in so long like the previous few videos I've had have been pre-recorded videos so I haven't actually filmed a video in quite a while but I am here today with a themed haul and the theme of this haul is a bungo stray dogs haul i have literally been so excited for the fourth season that was announced and i had i like went back and rewatched all of bungo stray dogs all three seasons and then the uh, ova and then the dead apple movie that's like the third time i've seen that show <laughs> And honestly, I'm just, I'm so, I forgot just how much I loved it. And I'm just so excited for season four. I cannot wait. I know season four is going to be so good. I'm like all caught up with the manga too, which, you know, I, I usually, <laughs> I usually don't read anything or watch anything until the series or the season is completely finished because I hate waiting so much but lately I've been doing that I've been doing it with like so many things I don't know what's gotten into me um but yeah I'm all caught up with the manga which I usually don't do um and I rewatched the whole series again for the third time and here we are now this is a little mini haul there are there were other stuff that i was planning on buying but i kind of had to hold off on them until uh, i had the budget to get them because i have pre-orders to pay for this month on figures so i there's like there was no way i was gonna be able to get more stuff for my haul and then pay for those figures so i held off i resisted you guys should be proud of me uh, but I did get a few things anyways and I'm really excited about these few things I do have three things that are three of the things are figures so I will do a b-roll for those and yeah please make sure you like and subscribe and let me know what you think let me know if you're a Bungo Stray Dogs fan I'm pretty sure if I title this video Bungo Stray Dogs the fans are gonna come here but let me know okay so if let me know if you're a Bungo Stray Dogs fan and let me know your favorite Bungo Stray Dogs character. I know it's super hard, but like, <laughs> I just need to know. Or like, okay, your Bungo Stray Dog ship. That's probably easier. Your favorite Bungo Stray Dog ship. Let me know. Um, but without further ado, let's get started. I'm kind of thinking about where to start here. I think let's start with the figures first. Ooh, I don't know if I actually want to save the figures for last because they're the best ones okay we'll save the figures for last actually so first up these first three things actually came together um, and one of them is this it's not it's not um, completely dedicated to Bungo Stray Dogs but uh, it does have Bungo Stray Dogs material in the first several pages but I, lo I love the cover. I love this photo. Um, and if you open it, hold on. I don't know if how I'll be able to do this. If you open it, we've got just some stuff about the series, I'm guessing, and the characters. I haven't really looked too far into it. But um, you have 15 Dazai and Chuya. I know that says Dazai and Chuya over there, and then Bungo Stray Dogs. I don't know what's next to it. Or, oh, I think it's just a. 15. Bungo Stray Dogs, Dazai, Chuya, and 15, I believe. I gotta check that later. <laughs> but, um, you got stuff from Dead Apple. You just, there's just a lot of character stuff. And then you have stuff with Asagiri. Uh, and then there is also, oh, there's the illustration that I love so much. And then there's stuff with the hunting dogs and then Sigma and yeah. I won't say, I, I'm only saying their names. I will not spoil the se season four for you. Uh, if I do, I will warn you beforehand. But with that book came a poster and I love this poster so much. Some people don't like it. I, 
I know probably because Studio Bones tends to screw up a lot of the illustrations of the characters, but I don't think this one is bad at all. I, or I don't know, I think it's super cute and I'll tell you why, but it's double sided. This side has banana fish and I'm kind of mad that it has banana fish because I feel bad that I'm <laughs> gonna block this side because I'm gonna hang up the other side. Anyways, um, but it is the illustration that is on the cover and inside the book. I love it so much. I'm like, I don't know why I love it. I love their outfits. I love this graffiti background. I think it fits them perfectly. I love Octagawa's outfit and Chuya's outfit. I love Chuya's crop hoodie. I just think they look so good. I don't know what it is. They look awesome. Um, I don't know. I just, I think they're neat. I don't, I just think they're neat. I just think they're neat. I think they're adorable. Um, they look super badass. Uh, if you want a close up, let me show you this again of what it actually looks like. Cause I know there's a glare on that poster, but I mean, they look pretty cool, right? I mean, come on, come on. They're so cool. Look, Octagawa. So cool. With that also came this clear file, which I am in love with the illustration on this clear file. This is one of the main reasons I bought this. This and the poster. The book was kind of just a bonus and it wasn't expensive at all. So I was like, I might as well, you know? But this clear file, you guys. Hello? Look at how good Dazai looks in this. I am so obsessed. I love, oh God. One of the things I love that Dazai does is when he tucks his hair behind his ear or like in Dead Apple, chef's kiss. Um, and he's doing that here. Like Dead Apple Dazai has my heart, but there's this, and then on the other side is Atsushi, or Sushi. Um, I know some people call him Sushi. I kind of like that, <laughs> not gonna lie. But look at him! His shirt just says, Bungo Stray Dogs, Dead Apple. But I think this is so neat. I think this choker here is supposed to represent, or like, it's like supposed to be the belt that he has that's hanging off his regular outfit that he wears in the ADA, or armed detective agency that's what i'm guessing but like he looks so good i mean he looks i want dare i say he kind of looks better than dazai here but dazai still looks super good <laughs> dazai is my favorite so i can say that it's okay every now and then um but he looks so good i love him so much there was this there <laughs> When I was buying this stuff, there was an acrylic board of one of like Chuya like this, one of Octagawa like this, and then one of Atsushi like this, and one of Dazai like this. And I wanted to get them all. The thing is, and I will, <laughs> I think I will get the Chuya, Octagawa, and Atsushi one. The thing with the Dazai one is, there's only one on there that I can find and it's like a hundred dollars and it's like it's just an acrylic board and I'm like I'm not getting that but um, I'll probably go for the other three but I'm hoping I can find one of Dazai but I got this until then. Let's move on to the next um, item that I got. If you watch my videos, my other videos, you know that I love collecting uh, Nitotan plushies of characters that I love. So, I already have one of these of Chuya and of uh, Armed Detective Agency or ADA Dazai, but I don't have a Port Mafia Dazai one of this, and so I got him and he's so freaking cute. Oh my goodness, I love him. I love the bandages around him. He's just super adorable. I love, he's so small. Um, so he's going to hang next to Chuya. I'll, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Chuya in the middle and then 
ADA Dazai on one side and uh, Port Mafia Dazai on the other. So there's that. I really love it. I do, I do want to collect all of them. So, so far I have three out of one, two, three, four, five, six, three out of six of the characters. And like two of the characters are the same character in different fonts. So I really want Odasaku and Ango. So there's Port Mafia Dazai, there's Odasaku, Ango, Sushi, ADA Dazai, Octagawa, and Chuya. I really, really want to get all of them. I cannot for the life of me at all find Odasaku, Ango, or Octagawa. I could only find Atsushi, which I should probably get as soon as I can because I think I've only seen a couple that are like a decent price, but I cannot find Odasaku or Ango for the life of me or Octagawa and I'm really hoping I can soon. I'm like checking every day to be honest on like different sites, but um, I am at least glad I have Chuya and Dazai together. Next up, we have another plush. I freaking love plushies so much and I think this is so cute. And it's not a Nitotan plushie, but it is, I could not resist, you guys. So it is this Dazai. He is so freaking cute, y'all. Um, his butt has like a little beanbag type texture to it so he can like sit. And I think he's so, like I love holding him like this. He's so tiny and so cute. His um, belt comes off on this. I won't take it out, but he's so cute. I love his eyes. I love his little blushing cheeks. He's just so adorable. I love holding him. So with this one, I tried to buy a Chuya one. I think there's only Chuya and Dazai from this line, I believe, from what I've seen. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but I tried to buy Chuya, but I got refunded and when I went to go check why it said out of stock, but when I bought it, it was in stock. So, I don't know. Um, I'm still looking for Chuya though, because I, he, the fact that they sit and that they could sit next to each other, I'm definitely, he needs Chuya. As you can see, I really love Chuya and Dazai together. Um, oh, and I just wanted to point out, he has his little bandages. Oh my God, he's so cute. Okay, anyways, moving on. Um, now, Ooh, I was gonna, I have one more thing to show, but it's kind of hanging up. I will put a photo of it here, but I hung up this poster that I got. I actually got this one off Redbubble. It's not like an official, um, it's official art, but it's not an, it's not official merchandise. But it is this poster of Chuya and Dazai. This is one of my favorite official artworks of them together. And in general, it's one of my favorite Bungo Stray Dog artworks because this is one piece of artwork. I'm like looking at it while it's hanging up. Um, this piece of artwork is like one of the few moments where they don't screw up how one of the characters look. So I'm I'm like so thankful for that. And it's and it's like literally a bonus that it's those two together. So my heart is so happy when I look at that. Ah, it, it's so good. So I got that poster. There was a tapestry of that illustration, but they are so expensive. And I think it's because it's Chuya and Dazai together, like the other Bungo Stray Dogs tapestries that, you know, have other members of the ADA or maybe just Chuya on his own or Octagawa or Dazai on their own are not that expensive. I think it's because so many people ship those two together or like the dynamic between those two so much that that the official merch of the ta tapestry is super expensive. Um, either super expensive or just hard to find in general. I do eventually want to get the tapestry. That would be my like first tapestry to be honest. How many times have I said that word? Good God. Um, but. Yeah, I'm happy with the poster for right now until I find a good price on the tapestry. Because I do like having official merch, but I'm, it looks it, it looks good either way. Anyways, moving on. Um, let, let's go ahead and talk about the figures that I got. So first one you've probably noticed behind me. 
I will do a b-roll like, like I said on all the figures but um, I have behind me next to Vinitas and Zenitsu I have Port Mafia Dazai let me let me let me just say I did at one point in like one of the videos I uploaded before say that I did not like any of the Bungo Stray Dogs figures I acknowledge that I said that but I saw him on Ami Ami and I was and he wasn't expensive or anything so I was like let me give it a chance let me give the Nendroid a chance the prototype photos online are so like deceiving they're just so deceiving because I don't think he looks good in the prototype photos but I think he looks super good in per like he looks so much better in person I cannot explain it like I don't know in the prototype photos maybe it's the angles that they're taking photos of them from where his head connects to his body just looks so weird like he looks neckless I I don't know and he is technically necklace but he looks <laughs> he looks weird on the images it's I cannot I cannot explain like I, I can't explain it I don't know but he looks super good and he's super well painted and I am absolutely in love with how well these nendroids are done so that makes me actually want to get the rest of the nendroids of them which they are re-releasing they've already re-released the ADA Dazai and they've already released Atsushi and they already released Octagawa I'm just waiting on them to re-release Chuya and eventually they're going to re-release the I believe it's the Beast AU Dazai figure and I'm super excited for the looking sharp Dazai figure to be painted but like I said I changed my mind on the nendroids and the figures I can do that um, so with that I also have two more figures or two more nendroids they are the Dazai and Chuya surprise surprise airport versions of the nendroids I mean okay I initially was not going to get these but let me actually show you like all the different poses and everything okay I wasn't going to oh my god they're so cute I wasn't initially going to get these I do want to get Octagawa and Atsushi too but my main my main goal was to get Dazai and Chuya first um, anyways I wasn't going to get these but I have been reading so many Dazai and Chuya fanfic AUs of like, they're like college AUs, band AUs, and I'm like, okay, well, now I can see these two in completely different worlds and imagine them in completely different worlds. So what's stopping me from getting these figures and pretending they are in an airport alternate universe? you know I mean but he looks so freaking look at Chuya is so cute um and he has his oh my god he has his little coffee I, don't, I honestly don't know what I'm going to pose how I'm going to pose these guys but I will put a b-roll on whatever pose I end up having them in I'm just so happy that I have them uh, with that came they came with these which I have never considered getting but I mean they were free with the nendroids that I got so they are these adorable this is Dazai's and this is Chuya's you can like put them in this pouch it's like a little sleeping bag it's so freaking cute and then it's like a keychain too so I guess you can carry them around um I will put a photo up here of how you would they would look in them but they look so freaking cute i'm not going to use them but i think it's so cute to have um and it has their name so this is like specifically designed for them so this is chia chia version and then this is dazai's version this is like on these are like my favorite things that i've gotten so far with that <laughs> i have these two airport dazai little um merch things so the first one is airport Dazai acrylic stand and 
he looking good y'all he looks so good maybe i'll have like a little corner for them um and then i also have this airport does i same illustration um keychain acrylic chain i was kind of thinking that i wanted i feel like i want to have dedicated shelves to dedicated series so i really wanted to have like a shelf dedicated to BSD and then a shelf dedicated to other anime like Noragami would have one um I don't know I think I'd have like a sports anime one just like different sports animes I have like a magical girl one here maybe you know something like that but like for my top anime I want to have a shelf dedicated to them and then everything else can be like I don't know whatever <laughs> I definitely kind of want to do something like that, but I don't have enough of each series to do that yet, but it'll happen. I also got one more thing and it's not BSD related, but I think it's super cute. I got the Sailor Moon planner and oh my goodness, <laughs> I know it's not BSD related. I know it's completely opposite from BSD, but I just want to show this really quick and just show how adorable this is. This is a planner that I got for 2023 and it looks so cute it kind of looks like I don't know it's very nostalgic it looks like a coloring book that you would get when you were little or like a little magazine cover of these two it has Usagi and Chibi Moon and it's so cute and then in the back there's this cute design it says the pretty guardian in a sailor suit guardian of love and justice sailor moon I just I just wanted to I just wanted to point that out but that is my Bungo Stray Dogs plus one Sailor Moon item haul. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know how this video is going to turn out because like I said I haven't recorded a video in pretty long time um, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless and I hope um, you liked it enough to subscribe and stay tuned for another BSD haul maybe eventually because like I said there are other things I want to get from the series anyways I'm like I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long and now I'm like rambling random stuff uh, I will see you in the next video which is hopefully hopefully soon please make sure you like and subscribe I'll see you in the next video which is hopefully hopefully soon bye bye guys <laughs>